The moment you are waiting is not mean you are weak. You are not weak. When things don't work on your favor, you have to wait. When, think, when, you, when move mean losing something, you must not move. It's not the right time, no matter who's pressurizing you to do it. No matter who's pressurizing you to move, it's not the right time. When it's going to cost you, don't do it. When that money is going to cost you, don't do it. When that debt is going to cost you, don't do it. When that decision is going to cost you, don't do it. Stay where you are. Amen. Stay where you are. Even you, you, you feel like everybody that you grew up with, they've moved on and you are not here moving on. Stay where you are because your time is coming. Don't panic. The act of movement does not require to panic. If you are a panicking person, you cannot, you cannot succeed in these matters. Joshua, the Bible says in Joshua chapter 7 verse 6, it says that the people are... Uh, Joshua sent the people to go and fight against the smallest country. You see, they've already won at the battle and they find the smallest country called Ai. They say, Ai, How many can I send? Ah, Joshua sent a small group of people because they say, Ah, Joshua, you don't have to send a lot of people. You know, it's so small. And Joshua sent a small group and they were beaten, they were destroyed. You see, now Joshua could prove that I am a bigger soldier. God is in my side. You, you, you go. You, you, you go. You, you, you go. You understand? But he realized, hey, I need to find out what is going on. He goes to his knees, which is like humiliation to be beaten by a small country like that. Aye. But he went to his knees. The Bible says, Joshua chapter 7, verse 6, he said, Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell to the earth on his face before the ark of the Lord until evening. Both he had the elders of Israel and they put dust on their head. And Joshua said, Alas, Lord God, why have you brought, uh, brought these people over to Jordan at all? Amen. And God says in verse 10, So the Lord said to Joshua, Get up, why do you lie uh, there on your face? Israel has sinned. They had to, they had things they had to deal with. They found the person who caused the sin. They removed that person from the camp. Then they went. You understand? So you are not moving because the next person is moving. You are first dealing with what you are dealing with. While you feel like it is done on my side, you start moving. I'll tell you when to move. I'll tell you when to move. And you're going to compare it into your life. And you're going to see that this is the correct. Jesus was tempted many times. He, he was tempted to try, to try and, uh, and, and prove that Jesus' mission was not to prove. It, it did not come to prove the world. You know? Jesus was writing down. He was writing down. The people find him writing down. They don't know what he was writing down. And they ask him, there is a woman here. We find her committing prostitution. The Moses said we must kill her. When we find somebody committing prostitution, what do you say? Amen. Jesus what? was not pressurized to answer. Jesus was quiet. Amen. Because he was busy with something. And when he stand up, he said, One way, the one who never seen must fall, the stop. All of them disappear. Now, when you look like you are weak, it's a dangerous person. You must be very careful when you see somebody looking like weak because you don't know what he's doing. Amen. 